All right, guys, welcome back to another Vite Motorsports production. So it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, I've been busy trying to get the house ready for the winter. It's cold as heck right now. So um, I've been tinkering around with stuff on the cars. I replaced a, a seal on the uh, transaxle on the Protégé. One of them went bad that we replaced. So swapped it out and got a new one. Um, and then I've been messing around with the truck and I'm working on the dome lights they're not working right I got LED dome lights and I gotta get um, I put a resistor in the line but it's still not working quite right so we're uh, working on that what else did I do oh I got the <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it you can't and my lights don't work awesome let's see maybe I can sometimes I can get them working when the yeah, they're there. See, damn it. I won't be quiet. Awesome. So either you got the nasty dinging or you don't get to see it. Anywho, um, let me get a flashlight. So, what I did was I got the... There we go. The security light in. And I moved the um, flashers button down below. So, there, now you might be able to see it. There we go. See? There's the uh, security light. So, it's a light and that microphone works. So, if someone was to break the glass, it would actually flip the alarm on. So, it's a little more of an alarm instead of just the passive one. And then down here, there's the... Uh, flashers so move that put a new stereo deck in um, I don't know just because wanted to change a little bit I guess I had bought that a while back it has Bluetooth microphone all that kind of fun stuff so like I said I'm working on the dome lights both the map lights and the dome light to get the LEDs working again so so yeah anyway that's what I'm tinkering around with but, like I said, it's winter time here in wonderful, windy Wyoming, and uh, we've already had a couple snowstorms, and the truck is still making that kind of weird noise. Um, I'm praying it is this axle, and that's all it is. I just have to get this axle swapped out, and I'm good. So, fingers crossed, that's all it is. It's a, the bearing's going out, and I need to replace that, so... Um, I have the ac new, two new axles coming. I just decided I'll replace both sides. I don't care. I'm just going to do it. And um, I have the, the bearings and the seals and all that stuff coming. So that's all on its way. It should be here Monday. And so I wanted to get this thing broken apart and, um, and ready to go. So all I have to do is throw the axles in the into the truck or something and head down and get the uh, the bearings pressed off and pressed back on to the new axles so that's the plan so that's what we're going to do today is I'm going to work on getting the jeez uh, um, I'm brain is not working today get the uh, axles out of the um, the differential the rear diff and uh, get moving so get this done I'm hoping fingers crossed this is one of the last things to do to the truck like I said the noise I think is coming from the back but it's one of those noises that it's really hard to pinpoint where it's really coming from um, but fingers crossed that's all it is uh, alright guys we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll see you on the flip side
All right, so there it is. Got two axles out. So not too shabby. It didn't take as long as I thought. It was pretty easy. Um, I took everything off of them that I could. I'm gonna take this to a shop to have them actually uh, take these, sorry, take these, um, uh, the bearings off and uh, the races and everything. Take all that off and uh, put them on the new axle. Cause the only, the tricky thing is, is that you, the only thing you're gonna replace is this. This is it. Um, everything else is, uh, is replaced. You, this will be replaced. Yeah, everything's gonna be replaced, so. Um, yeah. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not too bad. So I should be getting the new parts here Monday. Should be able to start slapping it. Take it down, take it down with the parts and uh, get it replaced. So, um, the, the, the passenger, the right-hand side, has definitely got a wobble to it. The driver does not. The truck has 100,000 miles on it. For a Toyota, that's not bad, but I'm there. I'm, I've got, while I'm in there, I just, what's four more bolts and a few more things. And then they were telling me that if I did one, it would cost this much. But if you did both of them, there's a discount to doing both of them. I'm like, might as well. Give me another 100, 150,000 out of it. So, yeah, so that's a deal. We're gonna call it quits for the day. It was a, uh, it was intense work, but it wasn't bad. Probably took me an hour, hour and a half to get it done. So, pretty easy job. Cool. So I will call it uh, the day for today, and then when I get the new parts in and I get these guys down to the shop and all, I'm back from them. I'll cut back and we'll re put, we'll put them back in, and fingers crossed to fix the noise that I was making. All right, guys, till next time. See, it's been so long, I don't do it right. Like, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell if you want notifications when new videos get popped out. Been trying to get one out every Wednesday. I think it's Thursday today, it is. So, I, I didn't get one out yesterday, I didn't do that. But, I'm trying to put one out, one out a week right now. Um, life is busy, so I don't have time to do more. But, until next time, guys, peace.